amazing options when it comes to photography and it's actually a photographer's paradise and I was actually going through all the options and I went crazy with all the available options so then I decided no today I'm gonna stick to one and only one right so I signed up with this person who's called Martin Cohn, who runs Remarkable Photography, no, who runs Remarkable Imagery Photography Tours, and uh, he is going to be my guide today. He's also going to be my photography teacher, and he's going to take me to all those amazing paradise-like places around Queenstown that he prefers to photograph. So excited! <laughs> but in today's video, less talking and more photography. So, womanos. So we mutually decided to spend the day exploring an icon of Otago's gold mining past and made our way towards the uphill climb to the Cronut Peak Road. We then bow our way to Skipper Saddle and our first stop gave us spectacular views across the Waka Tipu Basin. Do you see that? We passed over the saddle, we went through that crazy precipitous road, through Skipper's Canyon and of course we stopped at a lot of places along the way because there were some amazing landforms that I bet you can't see anywhere else in the world. was cut by hand in the late 1800s to bring easier access to the mining communities which lived remotely along the Shadow River. You can also come across some ruins and relics of that crazy, spontaneous era. Skipper's Canyon itself is actually a treasure that few know about. And it's just actually a half an hour away from Queenstown. When we went there, it was practically deserted. Except for some tour buses now and then. But mind you, it's not for the faint-hearted. and of course it's passed by the Shotover River which actually tumbles around and it's got so many ravines. this place in those days. It was actually the lure of gold. They came in hundreds. Drawn by the promise of the richest river in the world. If we pass the course of the Shotover River, we can see the remnants of technology that was used to separate gold from that river.
The Slowy Sinks at Bannock Burn. It's a historic conservation park. In fact, gold miners came around here around the 1860s and they began to blast away the hills with heavy cast iron water cannons called monitors. It lasted around 40 years, this entire activity, and then the place got transformed into a fruit growing region. It didn't go waste. And now, look at this place. All that purple stuff that you see around here, it's wild thyme. And this, this wild thyme, actually, was brought in by the miners to flavor their food rations. In spring, you see that this entire place takes on hues of pink and lilac. It's quite a beautiful view. update in what we're currently keeping ourselves busy with for a clear mind and that ever magical happiness. Photography keeps me perpetually in love with this world. So let me know what you do to keep that positive vibe going. Let's have a chat. Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And thank you always, you guys, for being here on my channel, supporting me. I love you all. Thank you so much. And I'll see you soon on another new video next week.